In this tutorial, you will learn how to add fog or mist to your photos to give them a unique or creative flair. I'll teach you a few different ways you can create fog using the airbrush tools in PaintShop Pro. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. I have this photo of a lake opened up in PaintShop Pro under the Edit tab. First, let's go to Adjust, then Brightness and Contrast, and again Brightness and Contrast. From here, we can decrease the brightness and contrast levels to make it look like an early morning, so we have a nice base image before adding our fog. Now, we need to add a new raster layer so that we can create our fog on its own layer to be able to make adjustments to it later on without altering our main photo. To do this, click on Layers, then New Raster Layer. We'll name this layer Fog, and then click OK. From the Materials palette, we'll select the white color for our fog. Now we'll select the Airbrush tool from the toolbar on the left. You'll want to make sure you select a round brush shape. And you can adjust the size of the brush depending on the size of your photograph. For this photo, I'll adjust the brush size to around 300. Now we have some options we can play with, and again, these might vary depending on the specs of our photograph. But I'm going to set the hardness to 0 and the opacity to 100%. I'll change the step size to around 25. Then we'll set the density to 35 or less. Now we'll begin to brush in the fog over our photo. You can either use long horizontal strokes for a floating fog effect, or sporadic quick clicks for more of a hanging cloud effect. Fog is usually thicker in the background, so I'm going to brush thicker fog at the back of the lake. As you're doing this, feel free to adjust the settings like the opacity or density levels to make the fog less dense in the foreground. We can also get creative and change the brush tip to clouds or crinkle. We could use these on their own to create fog, or combined with the airbrush to add more depth and detail to our fog effect. I'm going to create a new raster layer and name it Mist. And I'm going to use the Clouds brush tip. Once again, I'll adjust my tools options as before. And then begin painting thicker clouds of fog in the background to give it a misty quality and to add more texture. I'll add in a few of the cloud brushes in the foreground as well so the textures blend well. After we finished painting our fog, select the original fog layer from the Layers palette and drag it so it's the top layer above the mist layer. Then go to Adjust, Blur, then Gaussian Blur. A dialog box will pop up. And here, let's adjust our radius to around 10 and then click OK. We'll repeat the same thing with the mist layer. Now we're going to add a drop shadow to the fog layer to give it more dimension. We'll go to Effects, then 3D Effects, then Drop Shadow. Another dialog box will pop up, and we'll make sure that black is selected as our shadow color. Then we'll set the opacity level to 50% and set the blur to 40. Next, we'll set the vertical and horizontal offsets to 1. Then click OK. We can repeat this for the mist layer. Finally, let's go to the Layers palette on the right. With the Fog layer selected, we'll click and drag the Opacity slider to around 75%, depending on the desired density level you want for your fog. And we can play around with the opacity slider of the mist layer, still ensuring the mist layer appears denser in the background. We can also use the pick tool to select our layers and resize them or reposition them. As a final touch to our foggy look, we can right click on the fog layer and select duplicate. Then we'll use the pick tool to enlarge the duplicate layer and reposition it over the upper half of the image and then we'll bring the opacity level all the way down to around 20. This will give us a very light fog to the overall image, so there isn't such a sharp contrast between the fog on the lake against a clear sky on top. 
Finally, we can use the eraser tool to clean up any areas where we need to remove fog. Or if some foggy areas are a bit too dense, we can decrease the opacity level of the eraser tool and lightly erase over these dense areas. And just like that, we've transformed our daytime lake photo into what looks like a shot taken on a foggy early morning. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.